Well, to celebrate our 20th anniversary of Lakeland News, we're taking a look back at some of the memorable local stories we've covered over the years. We're calling it 20 for 20, 20 stories in all, one for each of the 20 years we've been on the air with Lakeland News. Now, the Brainerd Lakes area is now home to six different craft breweries. The brewery boom started in 2012 when Jack Pine Brewery opened in Brainerd. It was the first brewery in the Brainerd area since Prohibition. And reporter Hannah Tran told us what it was all about. Patrick Sundberg took his chances and turned his casual hobby of brewing beer into a business venture. You know, nobody making local local beer up here, so that's that's kind of the, the big drive. Named after a tree, the Jack Pine Brewery is the first brewery in Brainerd since the years of the Prohibition in 1920. It's the first tree that comes back after a forest fire, and I thought that was really fitting that this is the first first brewery to start up in the area since Prohibition. Now, in the spring of 2017, Jack Pine Brewery moved into a new facility, 7,400 square foot facility in Baxter. Other breweries in the Brainerd Lakes area now include Roundhouse Brewery in Brainerd, Goldam Brewing in Nisswa, Big Axe Brewing in Nisswa, Cuyuna Brewery in Crosby, and 14 Lakes Craft Brewing in Cross Lake. And the brewing boom spans throughout the Lakeland viewing area now, including Bemidji Brewing in Bemidji, of course, Portage Brewing in Walker, Starry Eyed Brewing in Little Falls, and Clockhow Brewing in Grand Rapids. A new brewery called Drastic Measures also plans to open in Wadena this year. Reporter Hannah Tran, who did that story, is now a video journalist for the Gazette in Colorado Springs, Colorado. The Gazette is the second largest newspaper in Colorado. And you can watch that entire story on our website, lptv.org, tomorrow. Next Wednesday night, we take a look back at a story from the year 2014. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.